Hi viewers, first of all, let me thank you. Uh, one of my viewers, Mr. Naveed Ekta, who certainly forwarded me with the uh, second video um, footage I have received with regards to the um, police brutality at the Manchester airport. Now, the video you have seen it before um, with that, let, let's not discuss about that, but the new video which I have seen, uh, I know I can't post it on uh, this channel, but I can tell you what I can witness, what I have viewed, and it's been viral all over, that these three police officers, three or four police officers, I think, approached these two youths as youngsters, uh, those we have seen on the video, one lying down, one sitting in the bench, and the mother is sitting next to it as well, next to him. Now, there is no uh, provocation or anything at all by these police, three police officers. They approach uh, these two individuals, uh, those who are standing uh, by maybe uh, paying machine, car park paying machine, and approach them, which looks like that they wanted to arrest these two individuals. They did not use any force. They did not show any aggression, these officers. They did not apply any force whatsoever. All of a sudden you can see this person who's lying down in my first video, um, face down, who has been stamped and kicked at, became very aggressive. And he was very, very energetic in this particular video. He started hitting, punching those two, three officers. Not only that, but he, with his hard punches, he grounded one of the officer on the floor. And he must have taken by surprise these officers. Whereas he attended to the second one and then started punching him as well. There were a number of punches uh, he actually applied on those police officers. None of the police officers in their defense applied punches to this particular individual. Eventually have we seen uh, on the video that he has been on the floor, this particular individual wearing with light green um, short and top. He was not um, uh, instructed by police to go on the floor or he has been like we previously thought that he's lying there as an innocent person must have been instructed by police that you have to lie down face down. He was actually so energetic in this second video that the police has to use taser gun to uh, actually neutralize him, to make him neutral. Whereas he was just like that and um, uh, idol or something so basically he he is the one who actually assaulted all those police officers so the reports I was receiving or the comments I was receiving by my viewers are certainly true that these officers were beaten by these individuals the guy who was sitting on the, in the bench uh, is not that much active I've seen but the guy who has been stamped and kicked by a police officer in the previous videos I've mentioned was so energetic. He looks like a boxer or maybe with the superpower, the way he's acted. Now this individual, I'm really shocked and surprised and embarrassed that how on an earth you start assaulting on duty police officers on a very, very sensitive location which is at the airport. I mean, the police officers are approaching you, maybe a new police officer, they don't know what went on before. There might be third video coming. Maybe pr prior to this video, what has happened, why they were showing such an aggression and violence towards these police officers. But looking at this particular video, I'm uh, concentrating on that this person, this, the way he assaulted those police officers are unbelievable. Now, they were in line of their duty. They were doing their duty. They have been called there. They approached them very nicely, very uh, professional way. But all of a sudden, they started hitting these police officers. So I think this person on this video, looking at this video, should have been charged for an assault. And likewise, the police officer stamped and kicked that individual the way he uh, punch those police officers. The police officer could have sustained cyst or maybe any any injuries to their brain. The, the, the way they were taken by surprise by this individual. 
So hence, I want to clarify that these two individuals, the video I've seen, just relying on this particular video, I'm saying, concentrating on this particular video, not relying, concentrating on this video, their action was totally unacceptable. Their actions were unjustified. The way they have treated uniformed police officers in a very sensitive place, which is the airport. And then, if they try to play any innocent card, I think this is not going to work. If I would have viewed this particular video, it's my opinion, my suggestion, I would have not gone to any protest. And I all, once again, I would say, there might be a third video coming. What was the reason for this aggression and violence by these two individuals needs to be investigated. The investigation will be separate, but I think these two individuals will definitely be charged with an assault, assaulting an on-duty police officer, and also would be charged for the resisting of arrest. Now, coming to my first video, I still stand by. I know the reaction of police officer was certainly like a Newton third law of motion. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. I can understand that. If I would have been in that police officer's position, I might have acted worse than him, to be very honest. Because whether you are at work, duty, or at your profession, and somebody start hitting you with punches, what would be your reaction? Would you stand and think, well, hang on, uh, I'm at work, and I'm a police officer, and I have a duty, and I, I've been trained, how would I react? So what shall I do on that? It's, it's, it was immediate reaction of this police officer. The way this police officer has been punched is totally unacceptable. And now people are making comments. Such sort of comments they're making. I've been listening to various channels, radios, whatsoever, that uh, that's the silly things they're making up. Like, for example, if instead of that Asian guy, if there would have been white guy, the police officer would, would have acted differently. I do not think so. If a white guy would have punched the police officer like that, I did think the reaction would have not changed, would not have been any different than this one anyway. So let me make myself clear. The first video which I've mentioned, the police officer certainly, whether we sympathize or I sympathize with him or whatsoever, what happened in the previous video, he should have not acted the way he acted. Uh, professionally, and especially at work. But looking at the situation, the way he acted, he has acted, which was wrong, I think. And I think the, the punishment so far he had is, he has been suspended, which is the right thing to do, and the criminal investigation into this matter. And likewise, same thing, should have happened to the other two individuals. I'm sorry to say, the way they have acted in this video that I witnessed are really, really shameful. How could you, how and on an earth, without seeing this, without talking the first video, you can attack daytime in a sensitive location like airport to police officer like this? And imagine if every individual start acting like this, where would police stand? We won't have any officers left to protect or save us. No matter how many differences I might have, people have called me anti-police or whatsoever, this is all rubbish. But my channel and I always promote the truth and the reality. I do not side with people because of their color, race, creed or whatsoever. My aim is to bring the truth. And once again, I'm thankful to my viewers, those have made comments, and they were insisting you must see the previous video, which I have viewed now, and I believe you're totally right that the police officers were assaulted, and that individual who's lying on the floor, who has been stamped and hit by a police officer, the energy he has shown was amazing. And he actually grounded one of the police officers by his punches which is unacceptable and which has never ever be justified. I think after viewing this particular video, these two individuals, if not, at least the one who was lying on the floor, definitely would be charged. 
and would be punished for his actions. Set aside whatever I said about uh, the police officer's action, I know he is not trained like that, but his reaction was simply to the action that has been taken by this particular individual. I hope I have clarified my uh, position and I please, 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 I certainly welcome all your comments and they are value to me, to be very honest. But any, anybody playing like race cards or British or go back there and go come back here and you're not born, this is all crap. This is all waste of time. Please don't make any such comments. Any constructive comments, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening.